don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. My name is Nady. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a quick makeup routine and chit chat as well. So I got a couple of makeup products that I want to try. So let's get into the video. This video is going to be a bit overwhelmed because I'm a very private person and I don't really like to open up like that. But let's get into the video. So the topic that I really want to talk about today is how to navigate in your early 20s which is the stage that I am right now I'm 22 and I live by myself in a completely different country my parents live in Portugal and I live in the UK so it can be a bit overwhelmed especially me being so young I don't have anyone here like physically to support me I have to support myself in so many ways not just financially but emotionally as well so let me just let you know something before I keep going this is my favorite foundation at the moment I literally love this foundation it's so freaking good uh, Rimmel oh my gosh what the hell I don't know what happened here but just coping this because it's so good such a good foundation but yeah like i was saying it can be a bit overwhelmed especially me being here alone don't have anyone really to support me emotionally especially my parents do support me a lot financially emotionally but they are not close they are not here so it's kind of different than if i had them nearby so i was living by myself I do live with my friend and it's okay but it's not like something that I really want to do for the rest of my life. I really want to get my own place hopefully this year. I really want to move into my own place, get my sh I was gonna say sh I don't even know if I I'm allowed to say that. Get my things together and that's one of my main goals this year that I want to do. I feel like living with someone that you know and you close by can be like good. But like I said, I'm a very private person so I'm always on my side. I'm always in my room. Um, I'm always on my kind of zone. So I'm always zoned out. I love spending time by myself. I love like staying just with me if you know what I mean. Um, guys i don't know really what happened with this foundation i took it to my trip and for some reason i think it broke so i might have to like use it like this yeah. the ghetto this is so ghetto <sighs> and i'm sorry if i'm looking down i'm trying not to look at um topic so i can track me down because otherwise i'll literally lose track and talk so much uh, but so far so good. I always knew I wanted to live by myself when I turned 18 I really knew already that I did not want to stay in Portugal I didn't really want to study there I didn't really want to live there because like the mentality and the opportunities are really not that good as outside So my initial thought was to live in the US Which I did after I turned 18. I went to the US and I spent like three months there with some family members i really love to stay with them but i felt like the us is just not a place that i wanted for me it's not that is a culture shock but it's not a place that i see myself living at least um the area that i was which was rhode island uh, in massachusetts but maybe like in los angeles or new york i want to try to live there in the future for a couple of years and see how it is but yeah so plus i didn't really want to leave another continent because the us is very far from my family and yeah so i decided to try the uk because it's um a country which i thought it had a lot of opportunities and it's they speak english as well and it's close by portugal so every time i wanted to see my family i literally could just go there and visit them and that's what i do i normally go see my family every month because i have braces so i have to go to my braces appointment there as well which was not a very smart decision for me to do 
because I still got my braces on and it's been like four months now that I don't have um, any appointment booked because um, I'm trying to find a new dentist as well as they don't have any type of availability for the dates that I need and since I have school I cannot really miss all of the days just to go to my dentist appointment it can be a bit tricky so I'm trying to find a new dentist in there. I feel like living far from my parents, it's not a bad thing. I do enjoy it. I do really enjoy living by myself. I love my independency. It, uh, I love being independent. I love living like by myself, like I said. Um, but at some point I miss them, but I feel like it's not as bad because since I see them every month it's not like a big thing and i talk to my mom every day as well even if it's not just like a phone call she texts me i text her every day so it's kind of like um easier let's say like that i'm really used to living by myself now i really love i don't have any type of problem with them I feel like I get adapted situations really quick. I did not get homesick when I moved into the UK. I know a lot of people who did. I did not. I get like adjust really quickly because I got just in the US as well really quickly living there. I do not feel like any type of homesickness. But it's different. I feel like I do like living um, without being on my parents' wings. So it's a good thing at least i think in my view it's not a bad thing and i really enjoy it i do like live in the uk but I, it's not a place that i really see myself like having my family or a place that i see myself living for the rest of my life i don't know what happened but everything is going wrong with this video but <laughs> let's just keep going <laughs> Uh, like I would say, it's not really a place that I see myself having my family or having my kids. Um, I don't really know where I want to go afterwards. Um, but I know for sure that after finish uni, I'll probably move somewhere else a couple of years from now. Not like right away, but I want to try somewhere else. Maybe like Canada or Dubai, but we'll see. I feel like I get used to, I get adapted to new countries very easily, like I said before. So I don't really have any type of problem uh, moving to somewhere else and start like everything again, start over. But um, it can be a bit overwhelmed because especially the countries that I was thinking to go, that would be far from my family. And again, I don't really want to like move out somewhere that I'm not able to see them often. But I'm still thinking about it, what I want, really want to do after uni because to be honest I feel like I waste my time on university I'm not even joking um, this year, this final year is it being like how can I explain it? I'm not enjoying it at all I'm really not it's not something that I really want to do for the rest of my life and it was something that I realized like really really soon when I started uni that I was not enjoying the course at all but it was like the feeling oh already started I need to finish it I don't want to like quit and live it like in the middle if you know what I mean yeah so I was like okay let me just finish it if I started I have to finish it and I think it was one of the worst decisions that I've made because to be honest, if I had changed it like earlier, I maybe would have tried something else that I like it more. But I feel like it's kind of like the fear of quitting or giving up or like starting over for something else. Um, but yeah, hopefully everything goes good after uni. I'm praying for that. God got me so... I'm praying, I know everything's gonna be great. I'm so excited to finish uni. I'm really, really so excited. I have a couple months left and that's it. It's gonna be like the best summer ever after I finish it and I'm really excited. And I'm planning to do like a family trip with my mom and my dad afterwards, after my graduation, which, is, ah, which I'm really excited. I can't wait, um, but yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna check what do I have in this basket those baskets should i try i have this new ted baker 
eyeliner, but I do have this number seven as well. Mm, I'm gonna go with the Ted Baker just to try it on. It's kind of like a champagne color. Guys, it's not coming out. Okay, I took this out because I'm not really wasting my time with Oh! I had to twist it. I'm so dumb. I, I completely forgot about the blush, but yeah. Like I was saying, I'm really excited to in a uni. I feel like it's gonna be great. And why am I doing my makeup backwards? Why did I apply powder before I apply blush? I swear to God, this video is be so messy. But hopefully, it doesn't get cakey. But like I was saying, I'm really excited to finish travel with my parents and yeah, I cannot wait. I'm really, really like so um, What did I do? Oh. What the heck? It actually looks so good. No, it does actually look so good. I feel like my 20 so far is being okay. Um, not exactly as I plan. I feel like I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself to get my life together. I know that I'm only like 22 and people keep saying that like, oh, you need to be like more calm about because you're very young. I know that, I know all that. And I'm not disagreeing with, oh, why am I keep failing with? I'm not disagreeing, but it's just like, you know, when you have a goal and you really wanted to reach it, I feel like it's very frustrating when you try to do something and you don't get exactly the result that you want. And me, I do get that a lot. Things happen like that for me a lot. I feel like I get very frustrated really quickly. I get very overwhelmed really quickly. But... Um, you know, um, it's life. Uh, for some reason, lately it's been a bit like harder. I feel like since the year start, things are getting like not harder, but I'm feeling more overwhelmed than last year. Since uni start, to be honest, I feel like I'm being getting like more overwhelmed than before. I never felt like this in my life before. I always had like a positive like mentality. I knew like, oh, okay, things take time, but I know everything's gonna be all right. But for some reason, since uni started, everything's gonna be like, it's been like very overwhelmed for me, very stressful. And I'm trying my best not to let it affect me, uh, which is, is getting to me a bit. And for me to admit that I really don't like to talk about these things with people other than my family and my friends so it's kind of like no what did i do it's kind of like um <clears throat> i'm trying to open up a bit more and be like more oh it's okay things happens to everyone like life is not perfect <clears throat> not everything's gonna be exactly as i planned but you gotta live with it you gotta deal with it and that's life really you gotta like get adjust to situations and just like whew. so when i'm saying this video is being chaotic i really mean it sorry about that <laughs> but yeah like i was saying that's like the true meaning of life no everything is perfect you gotta deal with things and that's really it there's nothing re really you can do other than work it out and I'm trying my best to do it and I'm really grateful that I have my parents who always got my back They're always supporting me. I'm really grateful that I can talk to him to them about um, Everything and that I don't have really to hide uh, My feelings or pretend that I'm okay when I'm not and that's truly a blessing that I cannot be more grateful for that and being able to talk to my mom about everything let her know how I am 
and even if I don't talk, she always knows um, how I am and she always tries to help me as best as she can. Even though sometimes it'd be like, oh, I don't really need help, you know? Because I'm that type of person who don't really like to ask for help. I like to get my things sorted by myself. And yeah, I have to learn how to ask for help sometimes. Let's see that. But so far so good, I'm getting better. I feel like this couple weeks has been a bit better than the start of the year. After my trip, I had like oh, a bit of mental breakdown, let's say. I was like, no. I feel like it was after my trip, it was a bit more like, oh, I don't pretend to to any type of trip recent like in anytime soon let's say like that like traveling traveling so maybe it was kind of like that that hit me with like oh my gosh what am i gonna do now like i'm gonna stay here in the uk just like looking like just doing this and it was a bit overwhelmed maybe maybe that wasn't it let me just clean my eyebrows because it's full of foundation and yeah i'm just trying to do like as best as i can to get like my things sorted not to force myself to do things you know what i mean like I'm just trying my best really and i feel like um this year is gonna be a great year it's really gonna be a great year i cannot let like school let me down like that because i feel like that's literally the only reason i i never felt like this before i never had any type of situation that i was like down especially because of school because there's like greater thing like more important in life than not saying that school is not good don't get me wrong but it's just like it's not one of those type of things that i normally let affect me so it's kind of like i really don't know what's going on and it's kind of scary not knowing what's going on and be like scared to be something that can turn into um, depression or something like that and it's very very tricky and it's very very scary but i'm grateful that i have people like supporting me my friends and my family so i don't really i'm feeling overwhelmed but i always like have someone like to talk to so yeah i'm not really an eyeshadow girl but i'm trying You still got time, don't stress it out. And I feel like a situation that just happened recently in the Grammys, it was Victoria Monet. She been like literally working her ass off since her early age. I was even watching on TikTok and they were showing like all of her work and she did so many like work for Ariana Grande and didn't get like any type of personal recognition for her own like songs you know what i mean like when it was her singing her own song she didn't get any type of recognition but finally her time got there and she's being valued for work and it brings me a lot of joy like literally watching that and listening to her story because it's very inspiring i know it can be a bit overwhelmed Especially uh, if you're young, if you have goals, social media are gonna make you like compare other people's life. And it's as much as we try to say, oh no, I don't do it, I don't do it. Everyone does it, like we can try it, but it's very hard not to compare to other people's life. When you see like people at your age doing like things that you really wanted to do, you know what I mean? But try as much as you can not to, especially stay off social media. That's what I've been doing lately. I'm literally just using like Snap because I feel like I really like Snap because I feel like it's a very personal space where I can be. Guys, my camera died on me again. It literally keeps dying on me for some reason. My eyebrows are the worst thing I can ever do. I cannot do like two things at the same time, talk and do my eyebrows. So stay there. My camera is about to die again, so I'm almost finishing really, so just set my face. And the eyeshadow palette that I use is from Iconic London. 
I just love this brand so much. It's like, ah, uh, especially the eyeliner. It's so freaking good. But let me get into the lips. I'm gonna go with. Um. And I'm going with this Ed Baker <laughs> lip gloss. I'm outside in it. Okay, I want to go with the Fenty lip gloss. I'm outside in it. This video was so much like fun, let's say like that, and different for me to do it because oh like I said, I'm a very private person, so it's kind of like I'm a close-off person. No, everyone has access to me. I'm very extrovert. You can get along with me very easily, but get along with me doesn't mean you really know me. So a lot of people don't really know me like that. They just know Nady, but they just know Nady, but they don't know Nady, if you know what I mean. This is seriously the best advice I can give you. Take a break, a break, and try your best. Keep, keep working, keep working, keep, keep going, keep showing up. That's all I gotta really say. Someone will recognize your work or your work somehow. No, what the hell? Keep showing up. Keep working, keep trying, don't give up. Talking and applying mascara at the same time is so hard. But yeah, that's it guys, we got to the end of the video. It was a chaotic video to record, but the result looks amazing. And don't forget, keep showing up, don't give up, keep trying, and know like, early 20s is a bit overwhelming a bit pressuring but keep trying that's what i'm gonna do and see you guys in the next video i love and thank you for watching